Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. Today we're back with 8.4.4 Heads or Tails. Uh, this will be a walkthrough of all three paths. I'll tell you which one I think is easiest, how to play them, or how I played them, and the best champions for the path. So, uh, the paths here were not the hardest, but also um, they weren't the easiest on the path. This was probably the most um, medium, <laughs> I would say, uh of the of not the chapters but the the paths or the quests um 8.1 i th uh, or 8.4.1 i thought was easy 4.2 uh was had a tricky path 4.3 had a tricky path but this one has lots of like not too hard paths but um also no real easy ones so let's jump into the three paths i'll tell you which one i think was the easiest and um then we'll talk about the bosses so we'll start with um, the path going up. This was to Human Torch as the first man. 90% chance to evade all incoming attacks unless you have a precision buff. Whenever you gain a cruelty, you also gain a 15, uh, 9 second precision. So precision buffs can be from um, dexing. So as if you dexed and then hit, dex and then hit, stops him from evading. Cruelty buff. Um, there's not too many champs who put cruelties on. Um, so really here is your evade counters. Um, you're looking at anyone with cold snap. Obviously Kate Bishop with the first one I say. Shang-Chi. Uh, Quicksilver. Just a lot of evade champions um, for this path. It's not a path which I thought was too tricky. There are a few annoying nodes on here. Each time you perform a well... Time block, you gain a passive disorient, so just took your block proficiency down, you, you, you know, you took a little bit more damage for that, that was annoying. Every five seconds you gain, uh, the defender gains a fury passive, increasing their attack rating, so this is annoying because, and the main reason this is annoying, is because because they're evading, they're, um, there's an increased chance of them hitting you, <laughs> basically. And all that means is that they'll just be doing way more damage. The good thing is, is when you intercept, you gain a precision passive, which makes it um, so that you... See, I, I thought this was interesting. So when you intercept, you gained a precision, which meant linking to deadly precision. They weren't able to um, evade you. So as long as you kept intercepting properly, you... Um, could turn off their evades. They are immune to effects of nullify, stag of fate, seal, buff immunity, and cannot have their buff ability accuracy modified. So that's just to um, prevent that. So they still build the furies, and then they're more likely to um, have heavy attack and dash attacks. So some champs you can use um, off the top of my head, as I mentioned, we've got Kate Bishop, um, She Hulk with the slow. Elsa Bloodstone with the Cold Snap, Shang-Chi, Quicksilver, um, Iceman's Cold Snap works, Red Guardian these days is a very great champ with, with no buffs as well, um, Killmonger is another one, you do maybe want to bring in a champ like She-Hulk for this Abomination because he will put quite a few um, poisons on, but also this eye bomb <laughs> i mean he'll put a lot of poisons on so if you can bring in a she hulk that will help you out massively or someone who shrugs but even shrugging champ isn't going to do too much so the keys for this path i'd say personally is that you use champs who can evade uh, who can counter evade or who are good at intercepting like your kitty prides because of her phase or your elsa bloodstone because obviously she have she intercepts when you go to parry first time so she'll get um guaranteed crits for for ha for that nine second evade counter so she's very good for this this path elsa is she's also a seven star and uh, a poison immune champ so if you haven't got a poison immune champ like she hulk bring in a poison immune champ um, and just make sure that you're constantly intercepting to avoid the damage on um eye bomb and human torch because yeah, I, th I think that can be a little bit of a problem, um, those Poison Immune Champions. So then, that's that 
path, uh, a lot of evades, but um, you shouldn't be too affected by it, I'd say, personally. I think as long as you can conti- um, can keep uh, intercepting, you will, you know, that evade counter will come naturally. So now let's look at um, the red goblin path, which I believe is the, is it the bottom one? No, it's the top, it's the middle one. I think this could be the easiest path. Uh, a few annoying ca- uh, bosses, uh, sorry, defenders on here, Nova, Gallon and um, Sauron. So what is the path? It's a weapon node path, so obviously you know, guys know I find these the easiest. You have a 50% chance to block incoming hits and a 150 chance to glance blocked hits. Whenever the glancing triggers, you gain, or the defender gains, a 5% fury passive. Whenever the defender gains a bar of power, it doubles the amount of pass- fury passives that you've got. So... Disarm it with a striker, so you need strikers. Stun straight after. Or disarm it with a striker. Bring in champs who have big SP1s. So, you know, Hercules, Venom. um, Or just most champs, you know, CGI has a nice SP1. Throw that lots of times. and then as Or as many times as you possibly can. (coughs) Excuse me. And then... Ca- then capture it just as it's about to expire so you do 800 percent more damage you know that's a that's a, a lot of damage to have um extra works really well so someone like doom absorbing man those two champs work lovely for this path then stun and capture it then it's just all about glancing blocked hits so um coming in making sure that you've got the weapon node by disarming it, uh, like we just mentioned, with the weapon node, block a lot of hits because you'll gain more fury passives and um, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So your champs like um, Guardian, Nova and Gallon on this path are really good for blocking their special attacks because you're not going to take as much damage as maybe you would have taken if you'd been... um, If you'd just taking you know been hit by that big damage if you know if you know what i'm trying to say so yeah not i i would say probably not the hardest path in the world i think you'll um probably find this to be um one of the easy ones once you've got the hang of it because as mentioned you do have that glancing on their special attacks finally the mr sinister path this one has a few um, strange nodes. This Mr. Sinister, I've fought him luckily before he got buffed. So now he's buffed, He's just be- he just becomes more of an issue. Um, I personally think it's not... Still, it's still not that difficult. So every 15 seconds, the defender alternates between charge up and overcharge. We've seen this a lot before in, in previous uh, paths. While in charge up, hitting into their block inflicts a shock. While in overcharge, all of their attacks are unblockable. The defender gains a 12-second debuff immunity whenever they activate a special attack. Uh, if he's immune to a debuff effect, if the attacker is immune to a debuff effect, they're generated a, granted a fury passive, increasing their attack rating for 10 seconds. However, this doesn't stack. Every 15 hits, you gain a steadfast, and if you are purify a debuff, you take a burst of degen de- de- damage. So the key here is shock immune champs, because if you hit into their block, you'll gain that fury. It's just extra damage, uh, free extra damage for being shock immune. So they're a champ, Shocker, um, who's a great champ, by the way. You should re- guys should really ch- uh, check him out and use him a bit more if you haven't. Doom, uh, Scorpion with his pre-fight, I Doom, Absorbing Man, Shuri, Hulkling, uh, Mole Man, Storm. Lots of champs there who work. So just, you know, get that free fury. Build up to 15 hits, so you've got a steadfast for annoying special attacks. So, say, um, Mr. Sinister, he'll put a lot of degens on with that SP1. You don't want to try and block that, you do want to try and dex it. Um, just in case you accidentally push a Mortal Hulk to his SP2, then you've got um, a steadfast for that. Uh, this White Mag's horrible for... Because um, I think, isn't his SP1 the where he raises the floor. I find that really hard to dex, so I need the steadfast for him. You can also bring in champs who block 
So like Shuri's really good for this because she blocks unblockable attack uh, special attacks, but she's also shock immune. Really great champ. And Mr. Sinister also works, but he's not shock immune. Uh, and Apoc, you you know, if he goes unblockable, he he will he will hit you a couple times with that unless you're able to block it. So also Scorpion uh, works nicely for this. So that's that path. Not too big an issue on there. Hit into their block, bring in a shock immune champ, and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So let's jump into who um, the bosses are. Two of the most annoying bosses ever, and the third one just doing damage to you whenever you're close. Not cool. So, the hardest boss, I personally think, is this um, Terax. I think it's just such a pain. Um, at the start of the fight, and every 12 seconds, he chooses between SP1. You know, we've seen this quite a lot. However, this time, if you throw this chosen special attack, you gain a true damage. If you don't, they gain 30% of their max power. He gains 2% of his max power each time a buff is nullified or expires um, off you. When you dodge an attack, he gains indefinite fury. At seven charges, he gains an unstoppable. Striking him has a 40% chance to inflict the attack with a shock debuff, dealing 30% of defender's attack. Um, and that's swapped with a bleed. So, th as you can see, this is just so annoying. Whenever a mystic attack, attack activates a striker, they steal 20% of the defender's max power. So, this is a regular Terax with either a shock or a bleed immune champ is who you really need. Sandman comes an absorbing man who you used in, in the path. Um, if you took uh, a couple of the paths, absorbing man worked. So he's quite really good, really good for this boss. Uh, pre fights of Odin helps you with this. Bishop's quite good because um, he obviously builds more prowesses with the shocks and he can um, purify the bleeds. So yeah, just a really annoying um, boss. It will take you a um, of maybe even a few revives because I did think it was hard but Absorbing Man Bishop they're sort of your best counters for this one uh, Omega Red again is he the easiest boss maybe because it's Omega Red so he probably is the walls are closing in when the so this keep this is, is annoying because it keeps you close to him when the fight starts you gain 10 tactus charges each second his back is against the wall reduces them by one if they're not at zero when the timer expires, you're inflicted with a DGEN passive, dealing a lot of your damage. So um, it's about keeping his back to the wall, but by keeping his back to the wall, you take damage back, uh, bring in a robot for this, um, and his spores don't build as fast. So Nimrod, Warlock, Vision, um, Viv Vision, Omega Sentinel all work really well. When he's against his is against the wall, he gains a permanent passive fury and passive armor. That's not ideal. Uh, so he does a little, takes a little bit less damage. Whenever he would gain a fury effect, they become unstoppable. So um, that's when his back's against the wall every three seconds. So you sort of got like keep him out of the wall and then push him back in and then keep him out. It's just it's a ho it's a horrible fight, but it's Omega Red, so it doesn't take that long. I would probably say that you want to take the twenty percent degen damage, maybe. It's just a little bit easier than um, being absolutely smoked by um, his unstoppables with increased fury. So good champs for this, Shuri and the robots, as we've mentioned. Not Shouldn't be too tricky, still an Omega Red. And finally, Spot gains an 8 second debuff immunity passive whenever you activate a special attack. However, if you activate a, tra a striker, it transfers... Hit the that immunity from the defender to you each debuff on him reduces their defensive ability actually by minus 30 on on you so just be careful about how many debuffs you've got you will get the uh, ruptures naturally by playing against sport uh, spot while he's suffering from a debuff or while you're suffering from a debuff he gains a passive fury of 150 percent Whenever either champion will receive a debuff, they're immune to generate 33% bar of power. He's also immune to poison. So this is a regular spot with if you when you know you look at those nodes, there's really not that much to be worried about. Who did I use? Herc, of course. Herc is my favorite spot counter just because of the uh, true sense. Herc works. Uh, CGR works. Kate Bishop works really well because of the tracking and the cold snaps. Uh, CGR, as I said, Kingpin. 
and then new champs bullseye works really well for this so there's a quite a few counters for spot your regular whoever you use to fight spot i would take in maybe not a um scorpion because if again if we're if it says there you're immune to it he gets a fury you also he's also immune to poisons uh, so scorpion can work but it doesn't have that miscounter so he's not as great so um they're sort of your best champs your kate bishops your herc herc works really well for this fight that was who i used so heads or tails wasn't too hard 8.4.4 you can see what i mean they're all average averagely difficult they're not too hard they're not very easy um hopefully this has helped you out giving you a bit of an explanation for all three the champs for each path um if you're enjoying these videos, please do subscribe. I'd massively appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm really enjoying making these videos again, so a like would go a very long way uh, for me. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.